Hi, this is lesson number 10 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about content aware tool and content aware fill. In our previous lesson, we learned about background fill and foreground fill. Using Alt Backspace, we can fill foreground color and Control Backspace is to fill the background color. Let's create a simple selection with the rectangular marquee tool. Let's say in this area I want to add foreground color. I can create new layer or if I want I can just add color in the same layer. If I will add new layer I need to click here to create new layer. Press Alt Backspace to fill the foreground color. Control Z and if I will press Control Backspace I will be able to add the background color. Our color it is in the new layer. Control D. Let's delete this layer. There is another fill that is content aware fill. Content aware fill it is very useful and it works uh, similar as a clone tool or healing brush tool but this is a quick way to clone the area by taking sample around. Here we have a beautiful swan in the water. If I want to remove I can select with the lasso tool just draw a rough selection around. And if I will press shift backspace, fill dialog box is open. And here we have choice, we can choose content aware fill. If I will click on content aware, now Photoshop will take the close sample around our selection and fill this area. Click OK. And that's all. If I will press Ctrl D to deselect, this way it works. There is also Content Aware Move tool. Using Fill dialog box, we need to press Shift and Backspace. But if we want to use Content Aware Move tool, we need to choose that tool here under Patch tool, Content Aware Move tool. If we want, we can bring this content in new layer. To do that we need to create new layer. Here we have new layer and make sure that sample all layers is checked and if you want to reduce or increase the size transform and drop must be checked and this time if I will create selection just draw a rough selection around and simply click and drag since transform and drop is checked so we have option that we can resize. Let's say if it is a little bit far so we can reduce the size. Place it this way and hit enter key or you can just click commit transform. Actually what's happening here Photoshop took around sample and fill this space and at the same time move the content to the new place. Control D to deselect and if I will switch off my background layer you can clearly see this is the previous location and here we have new place. Now our content and this fill is in new layer. If I will switch on my background layer and using eraser tool I can adjust the color shade around. This way we can do but you need to be careful this area since it is in the same layer you don't need to use a razor here. If I will click and drag you can see our content it is behind this fill. So control Z undo and later if you want to use healing brush tool or clone tool to fix a little bit more the clone area you can do that. But on this point since this fill and our content is in the new layer we cannot use healing brush or clone stamp tool. We need to make composite layer that will be combination of these two layer. It is simple. If you don't want to keep a copy of original layer, you can just press Ctrl E. This new content and fill is a part of our background. But if you want to keep a copy of these two layer, Ctrl Z undo, you can press Ctrl Alt Shift E. Photoshop will create another composite layer that is the combination of new fill and our background layer. So this is a merged copy of layer 1 and background. 
now our original background is here we can switch off and we can work on the layer 2 that is a composite layer let's go back control z undo click on move tool and let's delete this layer so here we have previous state now if we want we can duplicate also using content aware move tool once the tool is selected i can choose extend and here we have structure this is the smoothness around once you will move the content so i will leave it as it is three we can create new layer sample all layers and transform and drop is checked let's make selection just rough selection around our content click and drag we can reduce the size hit enter and now this time the content is copied in the new place control d to deselect and here we have smoothness around this is because of the structure but you don't need to really reduce it will affect your content and once again using eraser tool we can adjust we can move or we can copy the content from one place to another one thing more in content aware fill let's select the brush here we have brush and i am going to just make it a little bit soft and we can add new layer and here i am going to just add sun simply if i want to take color from the image i can click on the foreground color and choose any color i want intentionally i want to fill some dark color and once i will dab my brush the sun is there and it is in the new layer without making any selection around this if i want to add another color we can apply layer style or we can add fill to add new fill once the layer is selected i can press shift and backspace and here we have fill dialog box if i will click on this drop down you can see we have more option click on color now color picker is open and we can choose a new color let's say white and then click okay now on this point if i will click okay the color will be fill only in this area since preserve transparency is checked if i will uncheck this and fill the color the color will be fill and the entire image control z undo and if we will press shift back space and click on preserve transparency this time if i will click okay the color will be fill only in the circular area and photoshop will preserve the transparency around so let's try click okay the color is added and this we can add in any brush stroke and any fill which is in the new layer let's change the color here to white i will create another layer brush is selected and if i will just roughly draw something now this is new layer shift backspace and i can choose my desired color click okay make sure that preserve transparency is checked and simply click okay and the color has been filled in the brush stroke so this way it is easy and simple to use content aware fill and content aware move tool if you want to move or erase object from your image you can use this feature it's easy and quick create simple selection using shift backspace fill simple color in the new layer you can also try brush stroke and using content aware move tool try to copy or move element from one place to another that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you